STS-108 was a Space Shuttle mission to the International Space Station flown by Space Shuttle Endeavour. Its primary objective was to deliver supplies to and help maintain the ISS. STS-108 was the twelfth shuttle flight to visit the International Space Station and the first since the installation of the Russian airlock called PIRs on the station. Endeavour delivered the Expedition 4 crew to the orbital outpost. The Expedition 3 crew returned to Earth on Endeavour. While at the station, the crew conducted one spacewalk and attached the Raffaello Multipurpose Logistics Module to the station so that about 2.7 metric tons, three tons of equipment and supplies could be unloaded. The crew later returned Raffaello to Endeavour's payload bay for the trip home. Topic: Crew Topic cargo SSAF UF-1 carried the Multipurpose Logistics Module MPLM-2 Raffaello second flight fourth MPLM flight overall. Also the multiple application customized Hitchhiker Mac-1 MPESS Hitchhiker Experiment Bridge, with CAPL-3, Starshine-2, SEM-11 and 15, G0761, Prototype Synchrotron Radiation Detector PSRD and Collide-2. As well as the lightweight MPESS carrier number 2 LMC carrying SEM12, G0785, G0064 and G0730. Topic: Launch highlights. The launch of Endeavour on the 29th of November 2001 was rescheduled for the 4th of December 2001 to allow sufficient time for the Expedition 3 crew on the space station to successfully complete a spacewalk to clear an obstruction on the latching mechanism on the Russian Progress supply vehicle. The launch the 4th of December was postponed due to unsatisfactory weather conditions in the KSC area. Launch controllers counted down to the T5 minute point and held until the remainder of the window expired. The scrub had to be called after astronaut office chief Charles Precourt, flying the shuttle training aircraft, detected precipitation in a cloud mass that moved into the Complex 39 area shortly before launch. Endeavour lifted off the 5th of December 2001 at 17:12 Eastern Standard Time on the final Space Shuttle mission of 2001 to deliver three tons of supplies and a fresh crew to the International Space Station and return home a crew that spent four months in space. In addition to a new station crew and supplies, Endeavour carried a host of scientific investigations, including experiments from space agencies, schools and universities across the United States, Europe and South America, as well as a small satellite that involved more than 25,000 students in 26 countries. <laughs> Mission highlights The hatches were opened between Endeavour and the ISS Destiny Laboratory at 22:42 Coordinated Universal Time, the 7th of December 2001, enabling the 10 crew members to greet one another. The Expedition 3 crew officially ended their 117-day residency on board the International Space Station, the 8th of December, as their custom Soyuz seat liners were transferred to Endeavour for the return trip home. The transfer of the Expedition 4 seat liners to the Soyuz return vehicle attached to the station marked the official exchange of crews. Endeavour pilot Mark Kelly and mission specialist Linda Godwin used the shuttle's robotic arm to lift the Raffaello multipurpose logistics module from the shuttle payload bay and attach it to a berth on the station's Unity node. The crews began unloading supplies the same day. Eva Eva, 4 hours, 12 minutes, on 10 December 2001, Endeavour astronauts Linda Godwin and Daniel Tani completed a 4-hour, 12-minute spacewalk to install insulation on mechanisms that rotate the International Space Station's main solar arrays. The two spacewalkers stopped at a stowage bin to retrieve a cover that had been removed from a station antenna during an earlier flight, and after its return to Earth, may be reused. Godwin and Tani also performed a get ahead task, positioning two switches on the station's exterior to be installed on a future shuttle mission, STS 110. The spacewalk completed a record year with 18 spacewalks conducted, 12 originating from the shuttle and 6 from the station. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Maintenance and resupply. Mission managers extended Endeavour's flight to a duration of 12 days to allow Endeavour's crew to assist with additional maintenance tasks on the station, including work on a treadmill and replacing a failed compressor in one of the air conditioners in the Svezda service module. The astronauts and cosmonauts completed the transfer of more than 5,000 pounds of supplies and material from Endeavour's mid-deck and the Raffaello multipurpose logistics module to the station. The transferred items included more than 850 pounds of food, 1,000 pounds of clothing and other crew provisions, 300 pounds of experiments and associated equipment, 800 pounds of spacewalking gear, and 600 pounds of medical equipment. In turn, the crew packed up the Raffaello module with items bound for a return trip to Earth. IMU failure. On 12 December 2001, the crew and mission control noted a transient problem with one of the shuttle's three inertial measurement units IMIS, the primary navigation units for the shuttle. Only two of the three IMIS were online at the time, with the third unit offline to save electricity. The IMU that experienced a problem, designated IMU-2, was immediately taken offline and the third IMU brought online. IMU-2 operated well after that, but it remained offline and was considered failed by flight controllers. The loss of one IMU had no impact on Endeavour's mission, and the other two units operated in excellent condition. A formal change of command ceremony took place 13 December as Expedition 3 ended its residence and Expedition 4 began theirs. Reboost and departure. Flight controllers planned slight changes to Endeavour's departure from the station 15 December 2001, allowing time for a small jet firing by the shuttle to boost the station's future path away from a piece of space debris that could pass near the complex. Mission Control was notified that a spent Russian rocket upper stage launched in the 1970s could pass within three miles of the station if Endeavour did not perform the engine firing. With the shuttle reboost, the station was predicted to pass more than 40 miles away from the debris. Because the scheduled reboost used additional propellant, Endeavour did not perform a full circle fly around of the station after undocking. Instead, the shuttle undocked from the station, performing a quarter circle fly around of the complex to a point about 400 feet directly above the station where it fired its engines in a final separation burn at 12.20 am Eastern Standard Time, beginning its departure from the orbiting outpost. Topic: Scientific experiments. Endeavour's MIDIC carried home the results of several experiments completed during Expedition 3's stay on the station. These included the Advanced Protein Crystallization Facility, the dynamically controlled protein crystal growth experiment, and cells from the Cellular Biotechnology Operations Support System (CBOSS). The CBOSS equipment aboard the space station will remain active during Expedition 4, growing ovarian and colon cancer cells, as well as kidney cells in microgravity. Experiments in Endeavour's payload bay were returned for investigators around the world. The multiple application customized Hitchhiker 1, Mac 1 carried a wide array of experiments, including the prototype synchrotron radiation detector, the collisions into dust experiment 2, the capillary pump loop, and the space experiment module. SEM. The SEM carried experiments from Argentina, Portugal, Morocco and Australia, as well as experiments from U.S. schoolchildren. Several other canisters in Endeavour's payload bay also carried student experiments. On its return to Earth, Endeavour's crew deployed a small satellite called Starshine 2 from a canister located in the payload bay. More than 30,000 students from 660 schools in 26 countries will be tracking Starshine 2 as it orbits the Earth for eight months. The students, who helped polish STARSHINE's 845 mirrors, will use the information they collect to calculate the density of the Earth's upper atmosphere. <laughs> Honoring victims of the September 11 attacks 
STS-108 was the first Space Shuttle launch following the September 11 attacks, and remembering it would become a focus of the flight. Security was increased at Kennedy Space Center for press and visitors for the launch, and press activity was more tightly controlled. In the early morning hours of the 12th of September 2001, New York City Police Sergeant Gerald Kane and Detective Peter Frischer, assigned to the office of Police Commissioner Bernard B. Kerrick, retrieved a large American flag that was tattered and torn and wrapped around a flagpole near in corners of Church and Chambers Street amidst the devastation of the World Trade Center site. That American flag, a USMC flag recovered from the Pentagon, an American flag that flew over the state capitol in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania on the day of the 11th of September, the 23 shields badges of the fallen NYPD officers, patches, posters and an emblem from the FDNY, patches from the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey and 6,000 small American flags to honor those lost and those that served in the response and recovery efforts for 9-11 were all flown aboard Endeavour. The 6,000 smaller flags were later given to families that lost loved ones on 9-11 and the flag retrieved from the World Trade Center site is maintained by the Office of the New York City Commissioner of Records. <laughs> <laughs> Mission parameters Spacewalks. <laughs> 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 Godwin and Tani, Eva 1 Eva 1 start, 10 December 2001–1752 Coordinated Universal Time Eva 1 end, 10 December 2001–2204 Coordinated Universal Time Duration, 4 hours, 12 minutes Images <inaudible> 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 Topic. See also List of human spaceflights List of International Space Station spacewalks List of Space Shuttle missions List of spacewalks and moonwalks 1965–1999 Outline of space science <laughs>